What's up everybody, Roderick here with something pretty cool, pretty sick, pretty awesome, pretty amazing. Do you know what it is yet? If you don't and you didn't look at the title somehow, we're all in for a big surprise. I got it wrapped up right here. Let's open it up, see what it is, see what it's like, see if it's great. You guys excited? I am. If you guys want to pick one up for yourself, the link's down below in the description. So let's see, simple packaging, hopefully frustration free, and yes it is. And dun 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 dun. Ooh, did you guys see it? You guys see this? Yeah, let me move aside a little bit. Do you guys hear that? Just kidding, you can't hear anything because I don't want to get copyrighted, but it's here. Boom. Officially licensed Michael Myers Halloween H2O mask. Look at that. Ooh, I'm pretty excited. Let's see what we got. It's wrapped up in this nice plastic. You, I'm not even going to make that joke. Just throw this plastic bag away. <laughs> Use it for some garbage or something. Take it out. Actually, we gotta smell it first, right? Smell test? Mmm, it was sitting in the sun just now for a few hours. It doesn't have that much of a strong latex smell. I expected it a lot more, so props for that. You know, it's high quality. Oh, whoa, whoa, oh! Here it is. Take a look at this. Look at that. Ooh, this is Michael right here. All right, so we have the tags here. We have H2O Halloween, Miramax Films, all this good stuff, you know. Making bigger eye holes. The eye holes look pretty big. How much bigger do you want them? Blah, blah, blah. Um, that's basically it. If you guys want to take a look at the tags yourself, might as well show you guys them. Here we go. There's this first tag. Let's see. Let's flip it over. Got these two. Let's flip that one open. Here's the care instructions in case you got the mask, you don't have the tag or something, you want to not to take care of this thing. And then we have the back one. Okay. So let's take a look at this mask. On the, let's open it up actually. We have to, boom, expand it. This is pretty creepy to look at. Just look at this. <laughs> well, okay. Now, I'm not a professional in the Halloween franchise. I need Daisy here to help out with that, but I think it looks pretty cool and pretty scary and creepy. Like, I'm just look like... <laughs> it kind of feels weird just staring into its eyes right now. I feel like it's <laughs> gonna attack me. Whoa, look at this. Now, one thing peop some people were complaining about online when I picked this thing up is the hair. Now, I don't remember exactly what the hair is supposed to look like. I feel like it looks a little weird, but I, I remember someone said something about, like, they did something to it to make it look more realistic. So, I, I gotta really, you know, go to the expert on this and figure that out. Because it does look a little strange. Let's see if I plop up the hair a little bit. Is this supposed to be, like, kind of messy, right? I think. Now, one thing that's kind of... I don't know, it's probably normal, I guess. I'm not even sure. You probably can't see it in the real movie. Okay, so the hair... There, there are, like, bald spots on here, and the hair is basically just covering it up. And also, it does feel a little sticky. You can kind of see where the glue is... Or the adhesive, whatever it's supposed to be, is holding down the hair. So that's kind of a buzz killer right there but if you keep the hair down and don't get any dirt on there you should be good to go now this still looks creepy you have let's see we have the two eye holes right here they look like adequate size and we have the two nose holes which hopefully <laughs> line up pretty close so you can breathe in this thing because latex mask is so hot like i feel like the second i put this thing on assuming i can put it on because some people were saying they have a big head and it still fits and like, it's actually kind of too big, so I'm hoping it'll fit me. Otherwise, I'll feel really bad about my big head. But, <laughs> um, they, you know, it gets hot and sweaty. It's hard to breathe inside latex masks. So, you know, we got to try that out. See anything else? The ears don't have any holes in particular. So, I hope you don't just hear the, the mask. Like, you hear this? I hope that, 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 that can get annoying. Um, on the back, let's see... We do have a little slit down the back of the neck right here so it can expand open, which is great to make it easier to put on, plus the hair covers it up in the back pretty much, so you're good to go. Now what we gotta do is, of course, put it on 
and see how it works. Let's see. You guys excited? I'm ready. Oh, I'm so scared. I'm gonna turn it on Michael. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Whoa. You guys, this is pretty cool. Ooh, okay. So I don't like wearing masks, but this feels pretty nice. Let me look in the mirror real quick. <laughs> this is creepy! Oh, you guys, what do you guys think? How do I look? Now, what I was talking about is like, with you know, with one of these masks on, all your vocals are bouncing back in the masks and echoing around inside of the mask, so I'm just hearing myself talk right now. I'm not sure how well you guys can hear me, but it's pretty cool. Like, the eyes actually line up perfectly. I can see really great, perfect visibility. Now, breathing, on the other hand, is a little on the hard side. <laughs> like, I can breathe, but not too well. Like, the nose holes aren't that big. <laughs> it's kind of hard to, to <laughs> breathe. <laughs> and there's no holes in the ears, but I can still... Well, I don't know, I can hear myself. <laughs> At least no one else is talking in here. But it's kind of annoying talking and then hearing yourself... <sighs> Hearing yourself echo back to you the whole time. Oh, wow, I can breathe now. <laughs> Big difference. Now, the nose holes weren't really lined up with my nose that well. I, maybe I didn't have it on right? I'm not sure, I might have to do it again. But other than that, it felt like a pretty fitting mask. It, was, it didn't feel too big, but then my head's kind of on the bigger side, I guess. So that might have something to do with it. And, ah, whew. I only had it on for what, like 30 seconds? And I do feel a little sweaty, so wearing this for Halloween for hours and like running around, depending on where you are, especially if it's hot, that might be terrible. And the mask did come off pretty easily, which I didn't expect because sometimes if it's too tight, it kind of gets stuck. You have to kind of figure out how to get it off and then I'll start freaking out and probably just tear it off. Anyways, this came off easily, but I'm thinking if you're sweating in it a lot, because I'm riding off for like 30 seconds and I already can feel like I was sweating. So if I had this on and was really sweaty, would it adhere to my face? You know, just like in that Goosebumps episode where that girl gets that mask. I think she stole it, right? <laughs> she puts it on and then it gets stuck and she can't get it off and she turns into that monster. So theoretically, this could get stuck to you. You could turn into Michael. Huh, what do you know? Sounds pretty cool. Let's try this again. Let me see if I can get the nose more aligned with my nose and see if it's easier to breathe. Okay. Here's the nose. Ouch! <laughs> Here's the nose. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay, here we go. I got the nose exactly on my nose now, and now the mouth is right up against my mouth, so I sound really weird. <laughs> and the eye holes are a little unaligned now, but having the nose, <coughs> having the nose, I don't sound like this, I don't like it. Having the nose aligned to my nose so I can breathe, it kind of feels the same, it doesn't really feel like I'm breathing any better. But let me show you guys the back of it while it's on me and the sides, see what it looks like. What do you guys think? I can see pretty well still, but I do see a little bit of the border of the eye hole. But the problem is, the talking is really annoying. I would not like to talk like this for hours. <laughs> Plus, it's hard to breathe. <laughs> and the eyes aren't lined up, so I'm, I'd probably just have it more like this, because then it, when I talk, it doesn't annoy me as much. Let me look in the mirror again. Do I have this on right? This is really creepy, you guys. <laughs> Uh, Ugh. Woo. Ugh. Okay. Once again, it was hard to breathe. If you want to know what it's like to barely be able to breathe and all of a sudden be able to breathe all the air you want, <laughs> put a mask like this on and you'll feel it. Ooh, all the oxygen just hits you. It feels great. <laughs> yeah, if I had this on one of those little mannequin heads and like just propped up in my room somewhere, if I woke up in the middle of the night and looked over, I would freak out because this thing will look so scary especially if it's up high enough and like if i had a full size body of michael with this on 
I would die in my well, I'd wake up and then die. <laughs> But this mask is pretty awesome, you guys. What do you guys think of it? Comment your thoughts down below. Let me know if you're going to pick one of these up. And if you're going to see the new Halloween movie that's coming out in October. And let me know what your favorite Halloween movie that's already out is. Which one? Is it H2O? Is it? Is it the first one? Is it something else? Let me know. And maybe you don't even like Michael Myers. Maybe you don't like Halloween. I'm not sure if that's possible. But if you don't, let me know what your favorite horror movie is down below. Because I'm dying to know. Michael is too. Don't give him the wrong answer though, because he's looking, he's listening, he's watching. But <laughs> if you guys want to pick one up, the link's down below in the description, so you guys can be just like me. This is pretty creepy. I still can't get over it. Just looking at it, like looking into his blank eyes, and he's just looking at that. <laughs> but yeah, give this video a thumbs up, hit the red subscribe button for more. Make sure you guys follow me on social media. And until next time, you know what? I gotta put the mask on. Oh, yeah. Until next time, this has been Roderick. I'm out. I will catch y'all later.